and we're in Mickleton, which is where one of the first homes that I ever had after I lived in Hong Kong. And we're at the local church, and now we're going to go and find one of my favourite pubs, because mine host, Michael, always makes us so welcome. So let's go and have a drink. It's too hot. It's 91 degrees, and this is England. It's not supposed to be hot. King's Arms. A brilliant pub, an absolute delight, and my mother's very favourite place to come to. She always gets a marvellous welcome, and what is brilliant is I get a chance to see my friends, Jay and Eli, perform there, which they do quite often, which is a great treat for me, because as you all know, they're my very favourite guys in the whole wide world. I really think you're groovy. Let's go out to a movie. Superman what is I hasten to add, good food, Great bar staff, great waiters and waitresses. And also they have the most wonderful little antiques and things inside that you can buy. Some lovely jewellery which I've sported many a time. So it's a lovely place to visit and a lovely place to find that unusual little gift. Tadpole Cottage. Now, when I was about three years old, um, I came back from Hong Kong where I've been living with my mother and my sister and my dad. And we came back to England and the first place we came to live in was with my uncle, Uncle Brian my mum's brother and he lived here in Tadpole Cottage. As you can see it's very quaint and very lovely but as a small child it was quite new to me being in England because I was used to hot and sun and everything else and my mother loves to tell the story of her being in the garden and one day I came to the window and was as I said about three years old and I fell out of the window I landed in the flower bed upside down on my head and I got a thick little sweater on and a thick little vest on because I was small and I was cold and the soil I went so deeply into the garden that all the soil got beneath all my clothes and in my ears and in my eyes. Anyway, I live to tell the tale, but many say that's why I'm a little bit loopy, because I landed on my head. I can't imagine why anybody think I was a bit loopy, but this is it, Tadpole Cottage. They used to hang all of their birds outside of here, and my American friends would come and be horrified to see feathered birds hanging all the way along. Well, I suppose it is horrible, really, is it? Especially if you're vegetarian. Now here we are in Chipping Camden, one of my most favourite villages, well it's a town really, in the Cotswolds. There are so many restaurants and bars and wonderful things to see here. It's definitely a favourite place of mine to bring my visitors to. It couldn't be more glorious and of course we just don't have the time to visit all of the places that I love, except of course for the eight bells. So we can pop in there, always time for a quick half. Not that I drink beer of course. So enjoy what you see, put it on your list if you're visiting the Cotswolds because it is an absolute pleasure to be here. Pretty impressive hanging baskets. I'm a big one for hanging baskets. They're brilliant, but a bugger to keep water. This is another favourite of mine, the Eight Bells Chipping Camden. So when I'm here, I come here for my lovely lunch. It's quite dark and quite romantic inside but it's beautiful. And once again, hanging baskets. I just want you to see around this corner because there's some wonderful almshouses, which is where the elderly of the town often are put when they haven't got anywhere to live. But they're wonderful homes. Oh, scones. It's tea time. And this is Badger's Tea Room, so we might just have to stop for a cup of tea. And now we're coming to Tolton Mill. Now this was my very favourite farm shop. It's close to Stratford. A great place to come to if you don't want to go to a pub or a restaurant. Come and get your fresh farm produce. It's changed a little bit now though. So come October, it's just going to be a butcher's. We can come on a Saturday and the great thing is you know exactly where all the meat has come from because it's come from right here. There's also this lovely old cafe which is available to rent for all your dues and functions and they have good evenings as well so just have to google it and you'll find when they have their next event. Tolton Mill Farm Shop, a long time favourite. Mr Tolton Mill, the reason that I come here for this guy who works tirelessly to feed us all healthily and organically and everything else. I hate to tell you but as I've pointed out this is a wonderful farm shop and everything is very organic we know where it comes from and these little darlings well suffice to say um one day i'm not going to go there it's too sad because they're too adorable for words however oh dear now on my drive out into the Cotswolds, one of the wonderful places to go, as you probably all know, I love gardening, is Hidcote Bartram, where there is the most glorious house and the most famous garden. 
You know how important it was. I wanted to share the Cotswolds with you because Stratford is not in the Cotswolds, it's on the edge of the Cotswolds, but this is all within 12 miles of my house. And this is such a typical Cotswold village. Wonderful little cottages. And here we've got the village pond with the ducks, cockerels. It's like Disneyland. It's perfect, absolutely perfect. It's a beautiful July summer's evening, the sun's going down. We're on our way to the Ebrington Arms for some supper and some drink. Meanwhile, they're getting their supper and drink, which is lovely. So here we are in Ebrington, or Yubberton, as the locals used to call it, Yubberton. One of the best places to come and visit when you're out on a Cotswold Drive, very high up on the hill above Chipping Camden, and definitely been one of my um, best spots to come to. Love the food, love the people, and it is just about as authentic and as brilliant a pub as it could possibly be. And in fact, I'm glad to say that the Times obviously have heard me say this because they've crowned it number one village inn in the whole of the UK. So how brilliant is that? Congratulations to the Ebrington Arms and to all the staff. I'm just delighted for you all. So that is the conclusion of our second part to our adventures in the Cotswolds. And you never know, if you like it, we might get more adventurous because we've only really covered South Warwickshire and Worcestershire. And we've certainly done Gloucestershire and the Cotswolds stretch way into Wiltshire and even down into Somerset. So if you enjoy it, I might just take off from acting and anything else and just go and eat my way through all the counters that make up the Cotswolds. Thanks for watching. Bye.